Hello and welcome. It's still a cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another pour. Um, I have already gone over this canvas with some a navy blue. So I've gone over it with a sponge brush. I will be adding more fluid to it. Um, but I'm going, I, I just covered it because it was a previously used canvas that I'd scraped off and washed off. So I am, um, yeah, just leaving it at the present time like that. And then I will go over it. So I'm going to just put some more of the navy around the um, outside a little bit and then I'm going to add white so I'm going to yeah kind of do a a sort of I'm going to do a blowout today and I'm just trying to work out a different composition but I wanted some bright colors in it um, always sort of dubious about using orange because it can mm, I'm gonna risk it for a Swiss kit I'm gonna risk it we'll see how it goes been using these colors the last few days and in different um, pieces and it's worked out beautifully so you sh sometimes you shouldn't guess second guess yourself should you so this is turquoise just turquoise and again around here rightio and i'm going to really throw in the mix some citrus with some yellow so we'll just see how this mix works it'll either be a goodie or it won't um won't be very nice we'll just try it You've got to try these things, so that's the... Now I have got some gold, the champagne gold that I made out of equal parts metallic gold and metallic silver that I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to put some more of the blue and I'm going to run some of the metallic gold in there too and around there I have no idea what this will create but it's fun I'm trying to work it out so all good I'm gonna add a bit more white in here And then I'll just go around the edges with some more blue so I can have that to literally use to blow the other colours hopefully over the top of. But I'm hoping that it's going to turn into something nice. So pouring gods be with me. Right, yo. I'll just give it a quick zip over with my heat wand. Get rid of any air bubbles real quick just gets rid of any air bubbles and then hopefully create a bit of magic create some magic with my um blower which is just a a hairbrush it had um a brush on the end as well so it's just a a hot air blower just like a, a hair dryer, I guess. Rightio, let me think about this one, how I'm going to do it. Oh! 
you don't want that. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my goodness, it's spitting everywhere. My little Rosie, my little puppy Rosie's coming to see me. Here we've got three, three puppies now, two Australian Shepherds and a Poodle. <coughs> oh dear, I think I've got bones in that one. I absolutely love it, except for what I've gone and messed up there. But maybe I can... Ah. I don't know. Let me try this dryer on low and see if I can get myself out of trouble. Probably not. try and smooth that out actually I was going to use my spatula but why not use your fingers I do I usually use my fingers like this especially when I'm doing the wave pour with the dryer because I just find I can I can cause kind of control it a little bit better so I'm just gonna finger pop the colors around and then, hey, you've seen me do this before when I do the wave pour on it. Somebody said they cringe when they see me use my fingers, but it's art, it's abstract art. You can do whatever you choose. So it sometimes just softens areas rather than me use the balloon. But, um, It's absolutely fine because that hopefully will absorb into the canvas the center and um, it won't look blobby I actually like that little just softening some of the edges up is perfectly fine oh it's absolutely gorgeous actually it's got some lovely it's got some lovely lace i'm not sure about this orange all on its own there it needs a little bit of mixing so that might just do it just use your fingers use a tool use whatever takes your fancy all good the only thing i am not enjoying again is that it's got so many cells in it um and i would have really liked the lacing but not the cells i didn't i did have only because i've used it all week a little bit i think i had one drop of silicone in the yellow not any of the others i didn't have silicone in just the yellow um but there you go i quite love that actually standing back it looks better than what i um thought it did so i'm quite happy with that i really really hope you guys like it while i'm here i'm going to quickly show you my sphere the glass sphere that i painted over last week here we go I've hung it up on a, I've just, um, this is my glass sphere. I haven't resined it yet, but I think I'll give it a coat of the fusion pouring resin to seal it all. I just need to do something with this gold at the top. I'm gonna add another coat of the gold because it will be hung up um, as a decoration. So, but it turned out quite lovely. I was really happy with that. So that was my resin, uh, my
glass sphere that I poured on. So I will link that video. So if you haven't seen the pouring, I just did an acrylic ring pour over the glass sphere. So you could, I, I could either change that, the top and dress it up to look like a pumpkin, or it can be a Christmas decoration, your own, um, I might even make it into a Christmas decoration and put some um, glue with glitter just on the top. And then it's, you know, I could put a name on it in a decal. Um, but it's lovely. It's shiny. It's beautiful. I'm happy with it. I'm going to get some more of those particular glass spheres to pour on. I know lots of people asked me to see it. Um, Okie doke. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, you guys. And... Um, Please treat yourself kindly. Um, if you're feeling sad or lonely, ring a friend or a family member or a helpline. Do not suffer in silence. So I really hope that you enjoyed that one. I did give it a little go. So <laughs> the colours that I had in my head. And I hope you enjoyed the art journey as I do every day. So see you again tomorrow. But thank you so much and bye for now.